This week, I want to talk about the latest trend in Hollywood, video game movies. Well, to be fair, this isn't exactly a new trend. Flicks based on video games have been around for decades now. But let's be honest, they've all been terrible. Not just some, all of them. Seriously, name me one good video game movie. It's cool, I'll wait. Here's some music to help you think. At best, you could argue they're so bad they're good. But that doesn't undo the damage they've done over the past 23 years. It's no secret that Hollywood has all but run out of original ideas. So of course, video games, like comic books, are ripe for the picking with their juicy pre-built worlds, pre-written stories, and the most important part, a pre-established fan base with wallets ready to be emptied. Which, I'm sorry to say, is us. But lately things are getting out of control, with studios snapping up licenses to frankly ridiculous franchises. I mean, do you really need the Asteroids franchise to make a flick about Asteroids? Or what about Tetris? Yes, that's right, Threshold Entertainment just announced their intention to make a trilogy of films based on the 1984 block sorting puzzle classic Tetris. What the f***? In my opinion, we have to stop supporting these terrible cash-ins, and we need to do it now. What started out as a bit of silly fun way back in 93 has developed into a full-blown punchline of modern-day cinema. And at some point, their continued terribleness is going to come crashing down around us. Like E.T. the video game crippling the gaming industry, Tetris the sci-fi thriller trilogy might just be the tipping point that destroys what remaining interest the public has in the medium altogether. The harsh truth is that video games and movies were never a good mix from the start. Each has their own unique entertainment quality that's directly cancelled out when you merge them. Movies based on games attempt to either condense hours of complex narrative into a single viewing experience, or worse, they create story where there is none, all while removing the core gameplay that made the thing fun in the first place. But the fact of the matter is, these films do bring in a lot of money, regardless of their quality. Even the so-called Pixar of video games Nintendo has plans to bring their franchises to the silver screen. And considering it was Nintendo who got this whole shitstorm started in the first place, it only seems fair that they're the ones to try and clean it up. Super Mario Brothers. This ain't no game. But even if they could bring some of their Disney-esque charm and magic to the table, I doubt it's going to be the Citizen Kane of video game films. More likely, they'll just flood our shelves with straight-to-DVD releases, each bundled with an amiibo of a Nintendo exec that's rolling in a pile of money. Which really is a shame, because as gamers, we want these movies to work. We buy tickets to each ridiculous release, hoping that this might be the film to get it right. This will be the one that shows the rest of the world what they've been missing out on all of this time. But when the credits roll and the lights come up, all we're left with is a dull feeling of shame and, let's face it, embarrassment. Because we know we just sat through a watered-down, two-hour cutscene that bastardized a beloved gaming experience, and we paid to do it. In 3D! Yet, it seems like we just can't help ourselves. We continue to support the machine that's been cannibalizing some of our greatest interactive stories ever told, like Warcraft, Assassin's Creed, Portal, and God forbid, Uncharted, which is already like a film, but it's better, so just stop. Oh, what's that? You were just curious to see how they could make a movie about Tetris? Well, well done. You've just put another nail in the coffin and proven to studios that we're willing to pay to watch this crap. It's time we just let these uninspired, embarrassing blights on our favourite pastime flop, both critically and financially. You're alive. Too bad you will die. So when they announce an animated Crossy Roads movie, we need to say no. When we see a trailer for Candy Crush, the romantic thriller starring Justin Timberlake and Kristen Bell, we will say not this time. When Hollywood thinks it would be a good idea to make a, a Fruit Ninja movie, we will stand together and... What? They are making that. Oh, shit. Well, that's just my opinion. Do you genuinely enjoy video game flicks? Like, do you actually enjoy them? Or do you think we need to cut the head off the beast and keep our games off the big screen? As usual, let us know on social media, and I'll be discussing it further on our online show Pocket with Nick Boy tomorrow.